I'm in the online formative assessment live binder and I've already worked through the to-do list down to number three. So in the screencast I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to um, share the information about an online formative assessment tool that I've chosen. So I'm going to work on numbers uh, one and two just to get started. I'll add the tab and rename it and then change the format of the page in order to be able to add content. So the first thing I need to do is to put the binder into edit mode. I'll do that by going over to the right and clicking the plus sign to see other options. Then I'm going to go and click the I and say edit. Now I'm ready to edit in this binder. The first thing I need to do is go all the way to the left and add a tab and then to rename it simply click right on the tab. Once I have that taken care of, I'm going to go and click on Add Content and Set Text Layout. I'm going to choose the layout that's text media that has text on the left, media on the right. Once I just do a single click, it formats in the background. I'll scroll up and click the X for that pop-up window and now I'm ready to begin. If I go back to the In This Binder tab to check out what I need to do, it says share the following information, title, description, and overview video. Let's start there. I'll go back to the tab. I need to change this title. All I have to do is click in that cell and then my toolbar will, will pop up. I'm going to select to move it all the way to the left and then I'm going to go ahead and type in the title. Once I'm done in that section, I simply select, click Done. In the next section, I need to put the description. I have that typed up on a Word document to make it quick for us here. I'll copy that and then go back and then I'm just going to copy paste that in. So you can see that it copied right over. I do have a little bit of formatting I need to work on as far as taking out uh, the extra numbers. I'll go ahead and take care of that after the screencast. At this point I have the title, the description, and now I need to add the video. So in order to add the video, I would click on Add Content and then Add Other Content. You notice the descriptor says YouTube. When I click on that, I'll find the YouTube tab and I need to put the link right in here. So I also went ahead and put the link right in my document so that it would be nice and quick. And then click Find. It finds the YouTube video, a quick double click, and it will insert it. I simply need to scroll to the top and click X. Let's go back to the In This Binder and let's check out what else we have to do. So we're looking for ideas for the ways the tool can be used and then ideas for scoring. So I'm going to go back to the same tab. We'll add that right on the text side. Go down and make a spot for it. And then I'm going to copy that text that I have prepared and put it right in. I can go ahead and modify the, the format of the text by highlighting it, clicking the down arrow, and that gives me the second row of options and I can then click on the font size. And that'll make it bigger. I do want these to be the same size so I think I need to go up to a 14 and now my font sizes are the same. Add my heading And when I'm finished, there we go. All right, I can also go ahead and check out what this looks like out of edit mode. So I'll go up to the View tab and say Present. And here I am. This was the to-do list. Here's my Excel tab. Title, description, YouTube video, ideas for assessment, ideas for scoring. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.